Today is all about showing how wine appears to change in the air. And the trick really here is that the wine doesn't change at all, but you do. If you taste a glass of wine immediately after takeoff on a Los Angeles flight and then taste the same wine from a fresh bottle shortly before landing, 10 and a half, 11 hours later, there's a big, big difference uh, in terms of the way you respond to it. If you understand how the wines are affected or appear to be affected, then you can take that into consideration. And what tends to happen is that if a wine is balanced at ground level, then it pretty much stays the same in the air. What we tend to look for are, are very fruit-driven styles of wine, so New World wines work extremely well. It was something we were aware of, but it seems to have taken on a new life, and British Airways has certainly started to own this kind of issue with height cuisine. Wine fits into this very, very well indeed because it's something we've always taken note of by choosing styles of wines that are robust enough to stand up to use on board. It's gone really well and then there's some distinct patterns emerging and here we are five hours into the flight when all the effects of pressurisation and all the different distractions that you're going to get in an aircraft environment uh, are playing their full part. I found myself quite liking, I'm not a Sauvignon Blanc fan, I prefer Chardonnay and I thought the Sauvignon Blanc fed really well, high altitude and I thought the Argentinian Malbec was superb ground level and in the air. The Bordeaux Claret was very tannic, very drying and at this sort of altitude, because the tannins come forward so much, it seems that it's just going to work a lot better with food and, and the cheddar um, really brought that out. It certainly enables us to talk about this from a position of, of knowledge. I think going forward, what we can look at doing is actually saying, try these wines. They might not be a wine that you taste particularly on the ground, but actually it tastes an awful lot better at 30,000 feet.